that's why I thought that, uh, I don't know, if you got a crystal ball or you just got real good intel, but you were on the money, and i got to tell you, I the only way I know how to fix anything like this is to break the back of the beast is not to give it the money. You know? I don't know how to exactly do that. I guess why well, quit paying taxes. Then we're all going to get drilled for that. However, there's got to be a way. I mean, I don't like my money going over there killing all those people and and giving the enemy, Al-Qaeda, or whatever they're going by these days, uh, stuff that we bought for them. And then they go, oh, gee, weapons they got. They're using them on Iraq. Oh, but the leader of Iraq deserves it. I mean, th th they're not even covering it up anymore. That's the disdain they have for us. God bless you. Great points. And then there's this argument, well, Iran's backing the other side. Iran's not attacking anybody right now. Iran's trying to do peace deals. Whoever offensively starts the wars is in the wrong. But it's just like we attacked Iraq after 9-11. If we get attacked with a new 9-11, will we attack England? The enemy of Saudi Arabia, Shiite Iraq, got attacked by the United States when supposedly Saudi Arabia attacked us with proof. See, two plus two doesn't equal a thousand, like they say. Two plus two says Saudi Arabia is deep involved in all this, and of course they are, and it's now admitted they're behind the ISIS army. That's an army. That's not just a group of terrorists throwing hand grenades that popped up out of a jack-in-the-box somewhere. And this is their plan to ruin Iraq. When the globalists get control of a country, folks, they wreck it. Look at what they're doing to America with the borders and the jobs. and Very frustrating. Very fr and, and, and also Saudi Arabia wants to export all its jihadis out of their country. Because Al-Qaeda is so horrible, folks, they're sometimes trying to bomb their own papa. King Saud. Let's go to the Megyn Kelly clip in case you uh, just joined us again. And, and it's on all the channels. We have a bunch of these clips saying, get ready. Here come the Stinger missiles. And I couldn't believe it this morning. And, and I tried to get video of it on my iPhone, but it, but it ended. I was watching CNN. And they said, undoubtedly, we've got to come up with measures to stop these Stinger missiles from being used, you know, to shoot down our planes. And, she, and the lady's like, well, what do we do? And then the other commentator goes, yes, what do we do to the security analyst? They go, we may have to put security at perimeters around the airport. See, I just envisioned they'll be five miles away from an airport. And they'll just have checkpoint to look for Stinger missiles because they gave Al-Qaeda Stinger missiles. No one will debate that or discuss that. It's just now checkpoints everywhere, constitution-free zones, not just near the border, but anywhere in America because, oh, there might be a Stinger missile. No, no Stinger missiles under here, none under there. If you want to conquer a country, how do the globalists want to conquer the country? Do they openly come out and attack Americans? No, no, no. They protect us by taking our rights and surveilling us and setting up checkpoints to fight Al-Qaeda, but then admitting Homeland Security is really training to fight who? The American people. 76% of the American people live within 100 miles of the border of the coast. And within 100 miles, there is no constitution, according to Homeland Security. They call it constitution-free zones. And now, anyone near an airport, within five, watch. I mean, I know how they operate. And then when Al-Qaeda hits a train station, then see, oh, somebody shot up a school? Now the schools are prisons. See? To protect it, of course. Let's go ahead and go to Megyn Kelly about the Stinger missiles. Not only are we getting new reports that this group may have executed as many as 1,700 Iraqi security forces in recent days, including in a massacre that, that they put online and bragged about, but today we learned that the same group may now be in possession of a deadly cache of American-made firepower, Stinger missiles. They are powerful enough to take down a commercial airliner. Meanwhile, our reporters are down at the border and about to file a bunch of reports where the Border Patrol messes with them when they're white guys, a Hispanic guy, and a black guy with cameras with, with, with microphone flags.
clearly press, but let the illegals pull in in buses and in front of them and load up on vans to be driven into the country. Meanwhile, in Virginia and other states, in cities that are collapsing, the towns are saying, we're not going to have the local city building house all these illegals. These are Democrat cities, by the way, in New York, Virginia, and other areas, in Pittsburgh, you name it, Pennsylvania, where everything's collapsing, and they're seeing their precious Democrats house the illegals to get the federal funds and, and, and all the rest of it. Fighting back, residents force feds to scrap plan to house illegals in Virginia College. Folks, it's on. It's on. Again, shutting the power plants off, shutting the factories off, devaluing the dollar, shipping the jobs overseas, opening the borders completely up, wide open. It's all coming up, ladies and gentlemen. And now mainstream news is asking, is DHS a standing army? Of course it is. Jerry and others, your calls are coming up on the other side of this break. Stay with us. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that was good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Hey folks, this is Larry Crisp for BabyBoomerBackupPlan.com. I don't have to tell you, this economy sucks. Unlike the political elite and Wall Street bankers, you know that debts don't disappear and bailouts have big consequences. Stock and real estate market bubbles can pop at any moment and evaporate most or all of your retirement savings. Folks, we're in the weakest economy of our lifetime and it's likely to get much worse. Virtually zero sectors of the economy are hiring and workforce participation is at record lows. And I'm here to tell you, this may be the best thing that could happen to you if you move decidedly and develop a backup plan immediately. Proportionately, more millionaires were created during the Great Depression than at any time in history, and history is about to repeat itself. Get my free report at babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. Just went live at Infowars.com. Border Patrol investigates reporters, but not flood of illegals. Yeah, next we're going to send our reporters to these bus stations right over the border where the illegals disgorge and then get right on buses from Catholic churches, Protestant churches, evangelicals. They're all in on it. And then they just bus them in to be given their voter ID cards, I guess. That story and video is up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And, and, and this stuff is so outrageous that if we just all expose it, it will boomerang back on the establishment. 
there's a good chance that, that we can turn this around. This is desperation by the political class doing this. Jerry in Georgia, thanks for holding. You're on the air. Then Todd. Hi, Alex. Um, I just wanted to say that this whole situation should, should be portrayed as Obama's Pearl Harbor. He is, this is either the biggest failure of the intelligence community in his administration, or he chose to look the other way as an army of a thousand vehicles and thousands of men was amassed. So which is it? You're talking about the ISIS. But look, the illegal alien takeover is 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 a giant army politically, and what's happening in Iraq, and what's happening with George Soros bragging he backed the overthrow in Ukraine with literal right wing Nazis taking over and killing people. Notice they're moving on all fronts. That's when you know all hell's going to break loose, brother. This is only the beginning. Do you, I mean, do you see what's happening? A global destabilization program, right as the food prices are set to double. Hyperinflation, brother. Can you imagine the hell that's about to break loose? Oh, absolutely. But the way to get the sheeple to understand is to ask the simple question. I mean, did the entire intelligence community, the satellites, the predators, the global hawks, all this miss an army? Or did Obama ignore his daily morning folder of intelligence and decide to overlook an army being massed outside Iraq? One of the two. It's, it's a simple one or two. Which was it? Because last week all I heard was three obsolete tanks from Russia went to Ukraine. So they can't miss three tanks, but they somehow missed 8,000 men and 1,000 vehicles. So oh, they, don't, they don't miss a few hundred Russian troops infiltrating to be observers uh, in eastern Ukraine. And they know all about that in their names. But they didn't know tens of thousands of men from multiple angles, now hundreds of thousands, uh, loading up in armored vehicles with weapons pouring in. They knew nothing about it. Listen, blowback, U.S. trained ISIS at Secret Jordan Base. We told people this years ago, folks, this was planned. But well, if we if we put the pressure on, you're going to have somebody, hopefully, from the intelligence community coming out and saying, no, 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 we did our job. We told the president. He was briefed. He ignored it. I totally agree with you, and there's no debating it. But then the emails will just disappear like with IRS gates. See, that's the thing. If the current power structure doesn't get in trouble for this, the sky's the limit. I, I mean, they can do anything. With black Al-Qaeda flags that say, you know, Al-Qaeda on them, they're invading, and our media's going, well, the Iraqi government deserves it. It's outrageous. We're going to go to break, come back and talk to Todd, and then uh, Kevin, Mary, Chris, and others. Then we'll get to our reporters on the border with multiple breaking nuggets. So we'll both have Jakari Jackson and John Bound reporting uh, with the Don Salazar riding in the wings down there with them, along with cameraman Joe Jennings, before I go any further, please don't forget this hour was brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Super high quality, great non-GMO organic foods. What I personally trust for myself and my family, super high quality. The containers that comes in, great customer service. The place to get your storable foods in these crazy times, MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. And don't forget, support us at InfoWarsStore.com with the Molon Lambe clothing with the high quality supplements the water filters the videos the books infowarsstore.com and become a prison TV member to see the nightly news all the films this is GCN, you are funding the, the tip Genesis of the spear we pledge to you to be as hardcore and vicious as possible with the truth I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and get the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life.